Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Anthony, and I gotta talk to you guys about something I really, really like, and that is the Harry Potter universe. And uh, don't don't kill me right now, because I know the Harry Potter universe is pro probably a hot topic to talk about right now, but we gotta talk about the Fantastic Beasts 3 trailer, Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore, because I got a lot to say. I think it looks freaking amazing, but uh, there, there's one problem. So I saw this trailer early in the morning and you know, I was working so I couldn't really immediately react to it. So I was waiting all day, just gathering my thoughts of how I'm gonna to talk to you guys about this Fantastic Beast trailer because I'm hyped. I'm really, really hyped. I love Fantastic Beast. The second one, we don't want to talk about that one because that's the most confusing mess, but I still don't think it's the worst one. I see a lot of people on Twitter and the film community saying, think it's, they're, they're just portraying it as like the worst thing ever. People out there are saying like, I'm done with Fantastic Beasts. Don't even say, I'm done with the franchise. I'm like, dude, this is literally the only, the third movie. But I think the people are just like hyperbolic about it. You don't like the movie, you don't like the franchise, you don't need to be like screaming at the rooftops about it. But you know, do you boo, if you want to do that, that's fine, whatever. I just think that it's not really, you know constructive or anything but i really like this trailer this pretty this trailer was pretty much like everything i needed from the second film i already can tell by this like one minute and 30 second trailer that this is going to be way times better than the second film we got some wizard on wizard action you know that sounds kind of weird but that's what's happening in this in this trailer uh, it looks great i love there's a lot more fights in this than i think the entire harry potter like franchise like the harry potter movies i would hope so because this is supposed to be like the culmination of like grindelwald's war against the muggles so uh yeah there better be a lot of fighting but I think the biggest thing in here for me that I'm really excited for is we get more monsters. You know, that's what Fantastic Beast is about, is exploring the mystical beast in the Harry Potter universe. And I love to see that. I felt like we didn't get that much of it in the second film because it focused a lot on Grindelwald. Understandably, it was called The Crimes of Grindelwald. So yeah, they're gonna focus on this new character that we haven't seen before. But I felt like it kind of lost a little bit of the Fantastic Beasts, like, main thing is we're looking at Fantastic Beasts. There was some Fantastic Beasts in that film, but we didn't really focus on it. And we also get a muggle getting a wand. Um, I'm really interested to see how this is. Is it like a fake wand? Is this an actual wand? Is he actually gonna do magic? Can he do magic? I don't think muggles can do magic. I know there's muggle-born wizards that have magic, but can a muggle use magic i don't know or is this guy you know does he have magic and all along we didn't know this i don't i don't know what's going on that's a really is interesting point and also why wasn't there any mention of a muggle ever coming to hogwarts ever because they show that in this trailer and there's a muggle sitting in the great hall with a whole bunch of other wizards and nobody's ever talked about this. Nobody has ever talked about it. But just so many questions, so many questions that need to be answered. I need to see this movie right now. But there's one big problem with this film. And it's not something that I have a problem with. It's something that people on the internet have a problem with. And that is Mad Mickelson. And, um... Wow, I, the, the, the hate that we get for Mad Mickelson that he doesn't even showing his full performance of Grindelwald at all and people are already like flipping over it. I totally get it that if you are really attached to the Grindelwald character played by Johnny Depp, but if you haven't noticed, Johnny Depp is in uh, quite of a pickle uh, recently and he needs to deal with that. So I totally understand that WB recasted him. Me personally, uh, you know, I would want Johnny Depp back as Grindelwald, but I understand why they recasted him. And plus we're getting a great, amazing actor in Mads. So I don't think that that we're gonna have like a diminished performance or anything. It's just gonna be a different one because it's a different actor portraying Grindelwald, you know, new take. He looks cool as Grindelwald. I mean, if anything, he looks more menacing than Johnny Depp, I would say. I know I probably shouldn't say that because then you guys are gonna come after me. But yeah, I mean, this isn't the first time they recasted people in the Harry Potter universe. I mean, Dup famously, Dumbledore has been recast. That was a different circumstance, I know that. But I know the circumstances with Johnny Depp is like, you know, very controversial, very hard topic to talk about. But, uh, you know, just give Matt's chance, guys. You know, I think it's gonna be good. If you're really into the Harry Potter stuff, you really like the Fantastic Beasts films like I do, you know, just give it a chance. Because if we want more of these films, if we want more Newt Scamander, we want more Eddie Redmayne, more like exploring the universe, you know, we gotta support this. Uh, you know, if it's bad, then you can say it's bad. You know, I will say it's bad too, if it's bad. And I will also end on this. I think that, um, you know, as much as I love Harry Potter, I love Harry Potter a lot, but you know, 
with the whole antics that the creator of the series has done uh, as of late, I feel like, uh, you know, Harry Potter needs a, you know, a rest. We need to give Harry Potter a rest for a while. It needs to go dormant for a while and, you know, just let people just cool off <laughs> a little bit. But, you know, a part of me doesn't want that to happen because I just want more Harry Potter stuff. And we are getting that Harry Potter 20th anniversary special on HBO Max January 1st. Don't be late. And everybody is coming back except for, uh, he, you know, you know, she who shall not be named. <laughs> but guys, let me know what you think of the new Fantastic Beast trailer in the comments down below. Are you excited about this? Do you wish that Mad Mickelson was not Grindelwald? <laughs> Do you wish that Donnie Depp was here? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember guys, keep watching movies.